Hello Art Invaders, I'm back again with new tutorials. I will upload again one Cinema 4D and one Blender tutorial per week. I'm looking forward to be artistically active with you. Today we create this cool animation. For those who do not know me, I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post short tutorials and my art on Instagram and TikTok. If you want to support me, follow me on my social media channels and leave me some love. Thanks a lot, you guys are the best. Enough talking, let's start with the 3D, the 3D objects. objects. Delete the camera, the cube and the light with the X button. Go to the top bar to insert a text. Go to transform on the side and rotate it by 90 degrees in the X axis. Then switch to the edit mode to change the text. Write a term of your choice. I take NASA. Go now to the right side to the letter icon to change the text. I'll use Renji as font. I link you the font in the caption. For extrude we take 0.08 and for bevel 0.02. Under alignment we choose center. Now we go back to object mode. Now we duplicate the font and take for bevel 0.1 and for extrude 0. We rename the font to inside and outside. For the font inside we increase extrude to 0.11. After that we select the outer font and press the with the right mouse button and select convert to mesh. After that we go to modifier properties and select remesh. Save everything here. Under voxel size we take 0.008 and then press apply. With the smooth tool we can now touch up the 3D object. After that we go back to the object mode and press with the right mouse button and select shade smooth. Now we create the stars. For this we go to the top of the bar to add curve and then polygon. At the bottom of the window we select under sides 10. Then we select every second point and scale everything inwards. After that we go to the object data properties and extrude the star by 0.08 and bevel 0.1. Now we go back to the object mode and we press with the right mouse button on it and convert the star into a mesh. Under Transform X we rotate the star by 90 degrees. Then we duplicate the star and scale it thinner and bigger. Then we select both parts of the star and scale it to logo size and place it on the logo. We repeat this with the other stars. Now we make the ring. Create a circle spline. Press 3D on the right side of the screen. For depth select now 0.02. Create a sphere and place it on the spline. Select the sphere and the spline. Press with the right mouse button on it and choose follow path under parent. Place more spheres on the ring and repeat the process. Place the circle with the spheres around the logo. Finally select all the spheres and press with the right mouse button on it and select Shade Smooth. LaColin used my chain tutorial and created this beautiful animation. Do you like the animation as much as I do? Feel free to write it in the comments. I would be happy if you give her some love on Insta. You can find the link to her profile in my caption. Do you also want this exclusive shoutout? Then send me your results on Instagram or TikTok. The best animation will be presented here next week. The materials. Well let's continue. First we split the view in two so that we can see our 3D object and create a material at the same time. For this we go to the side until a plus appears and drag the window to the side. We change the second view by pressing the icon. There we select, Shader Editor. After that we change the, Viewport Shading, in the upper right corner of the 3D view. First switch to the world mode. Search for, environment texture. 
and insert a picture of your choice there. I take a HDRI studio map. After that we change to the object mode. Select the font inside and create a new material by pressing the plus button. There you set, metallic, to 1 and, roughness, to 0, 1. I orientate myself on the NASA logo and take the colors blue and red. You take the material for all components and change only the color. Now we add a camera. Press on the camera icon and place the camera correctly. Under output properties you choose a suitable format. Have a look at the following sub-items at render properties. Check Abent Occlusion to simulate shadows on the 3D object simulate. Also check Bloom to create shine and glow effects on the animation. Add a light under Add, Light and then Sun to create reflections on the animation. Also check the box screen space reflection. There you can adjust the reflections within the animation. I find everything a bit too dark. So I go back to the shader editor and change to the world mode. There I can set under background the brightness. Finally we insert a black plane as background. Now we select the plane and create a new material here as well. Also here we take metallic 1 and roughness 0.1. Now we play some spheres as design elements and I set up the stars. You want my whole project file? You can get it. At Patreon you can find the complete project file with all textures I used. There you can also support me financially as an artist. All the money helps me spend more time on creating tutorials and cool things for you. Thanks for the support Art Invaders. And a very big thank you to my Patreons. You are the best. If you need some help or support you can text me. I will answer all questions as soon as possible. And now we came to. The Animation, 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 animation. Before we start with the animation, we connect all parts that belong together to one object. Connect each star to an object and delete yourself collections. Connect the text as well. Select both layers and cover them to a mesh. Afterwards press with the right mouse button and select join. Now we animate the whole object, taking the camera, the tarp and the light to the side so that you don't do not animate it by mistake. Set the animation slider to the beginning of the animation and set a keyframe by pressing on the dot icon. Move the whole logo up and down and rotate the object and move the animation slider. Repeat the same for the stars and the spheres as individual objects. Since you have already animated the whole object, the keyframes will be set automatically. The project is ready I hope you like the tutorial. That's it, well done Art Invaders. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Do you have any questions or do you want to tell me something? Write it in the comments. If you want to support me, subscribe to the channel or follow me on Instagram or TikTok. There you can also send me your finished artwork. As a thank you I will show all the artwork with social media links in the next video. I am glad about every support. Thank you. See you in the next week.